In today's session, we are going to discuss about uh, one important uh, uh, star pattern program for entry point of view or written test coding point of view. So this is most asked star pattern program in technical round or any written test as well. Can you write the logic uh, uh, for this uh, star pattern and uh, can you explain this logic? Okay. So to implement this logic, uh, I have already written some code here. I am going to explain the logic, uh, how to print this uh, star pattern program. Okay. So very, very important, very frequently asked pattern program, this one. Okay. You must have, you must be ready to explain this uh, star pattern program in front of internet panel. Okay. So here is the logic. Okay. First, we have to write the statement. So enter number of rows to print the star pattern. Okay. I am giving five number. Okay. Five rows. Okay. So next, you have to take one for loop here. Okay. So int i equal to one. We are initializing the i value, i variable one. Okay. And then i less than equal to rows. How many rows we are printing? We want to print five. So row means here, rows five value. Okay. It holds the five. Now i less than equal to row. i means one, one less than equal to five. Condition becomes true. Whenever condition becomes true, it will goes to inner for loop. Okay. Now it will check again j equal to int j equal to row. Row means how much? 5. Okay. Now 5 value substitute to j value. Now j holds how much? j holds 5 value. Okay. j greater than i. j how much? 5 greater than i means i value 1. It's the condition true. So whenever condition true, it will comes to the for it will going to execute the following statement here i have given the space now it will print the first space here okay and again it will goes to inner for loop here j minus minus decrement operator so how much j value for five now so it will decrease the one value now j becomes four so here four greater than one so the condition again true and again it will execute this statement it comes to the here again space so again three decrement operator now j value becomes three okay so three greater than one condition true and it will print the space again it will goes to decrement operator it will decrease the one value two two greater than one condition true again it will print the space now it will goes to decrement the j value. Now j value becomes 1. Now 1 greater than 1. The condition becomes false. So whenever the condition becomes false, it will jump to the this for loop. Okay. Now int k equal to 1. I am initializing a k value 1 variable, 1 value. Okay. k holds 1. k less than or equal to i into 2. i means how much? 1 1 into 2 2 minus 1 that means 1 k less than or equal to 1 k value 1 1 less than or equal to 1 so condition true whenever condition true so it will print the star so here is the star okay again it will goes to here k plus plus k plus plus means already k 1 k equal to 1 so now it becomes to 2 whenever increment operator using it becomes 2 now k less than or equal to i into 2 so i value 1 1 into 2 2 in minus 1 okay 2 less than or equal to 1 condition becomes uh, false so when our condition becomes false it's go to again outer for loop okay now i value already i value how much 1 na? so i value becomes 2 okay now 2 less than or equal to 5 condition true so whenever condition true it will goes to inner for loop already row how much 5 j value how much 5 i value now it will becomes i value 2 okay 
5 less 5 greater than 2 condition true again it will print the space here okay again it will go to j minus minus it will decrease decrease the value now it will become j value becomes 4 okay 4 greater than 2 condition true and again it will print the space again it j value becomes uh, 3 3 greater than 2 condition becomes uh, true again it will print the space now whenever we are using j decrement operator j value becomes 2 2 greater than 2 that means the um, condition becomes false whenever condition becomes false it will jump to the next following statement for loop here k equal to 1 k less than equal to i into 2 minus 1 okay so i value how much 2 2 into 2 that means 4 4 minus 1 that means it becomes a total 3 so i will k value 1 less than equal to 3 okay condition becomes true again it will print the star okay again it will goes to k plus plus now k becomes 2 2 less than equal to 3 condition true again it will print the second star okay again it will go to k value increment operator now it will become the 3 3 less than equal to 3 condition true so it will print the star again it will goes to k becomes now 4 4 less than equal to 3 condition false so that's the reason it doesn't execute this statement and it will go to this loop outer for loop now i value becomes uh, again 3 okay so it will check the condition again 3 less than or equal to 5 so in the similar process it will print all the statement all the rows i hope you understand this logic okay so here the simple logic is just understand whenever outer for loop becomes true it will goes to inner for loop so after iterating all the whenever condition becomes true up to, uh, till the condition becomes false it will execute inner for loop only you just remember this point till the condition becomes false it will execute the inner for loop so once it becomes false it will uh, it will jump to next for loop okay once this for loop becomes false and it will goes to end outer for loop so this is the process the logic to implement to print this type of a star pattern program i hope you clear your doubt if you re, uh, if you are not understand please comment i will try to uh, resolve your issues okay in the next program so if you really understand this program so if you please hit the like button and also give comments about this video so we'll meet in the next video so thank you for watching